I request Ms. Emma Currant and Mr. Robert Curry to please come forward as they're going to present their respective books to Mr. Gopal Bhattacharji. Emma Currant and Robert Curry, please come forward. You just uh, uh, introduce your books and then uh, present me. Okay. Okay. Just something. Hello, dear all. I would like to introduce you to my book, which I have published a couple of months ago. Uh, I'm very proud of this book. I've been, wor I've been, wor I was working on it. I was working on it for eight years, and it's a huge book. <laughs> it's in Slovenian. It's in a language that <laughs> that you can't understand. But uh, with God's wish. Uh, I mean, with God, if God permits, uh, I'll translate it soon and then you can read it in English or maybe even in Hindi. Uh, it's got like 100 and more than 100 thought of uh, introduction to traditional Western astrology, all the rules of traditional horary astrology, plus 124 horary cases, nicely explained. So hopefully, you know, you can also learn from it. Thank you very much. And I'm presenting, of course, this book to my dear friend Gopal. Bhattacharji, Sir Gopal. Let's come. <laughs> and we are looking forward the English version of this book, Emma. Thank you. Okay? Yes. yes. Now, Robert. This book is, is quite different. It's a collective effort by a number of astrologers and published by the Astrology News Service. And I was one of the authors. And it was, um, it's a non-profit book. And we were supported by various astrological charities. And we've been supported by ISAR, uh, the NCGR, and the AFA in America. And the idea is that we're very interested in promoting the public image of astrology. And we would like to uh, do further publications or, and news articles that promote astrology. So this book does not have a single chart wheel in it, but it is all about what astrology does and how it impacts us. And I'll give you some, some of the kind of topics that, there, that come up. Uh, one of the ones I was involved in was um, how the, 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 uh, the seven series of books by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, how she was an astrologer at one point and how she used astrology in the Harry Potter books, how Shakespeare used astrology, how the, there was a um, Holst, the, the uh, composer, uh, used astrology in composing the um, Planet Suite. And there's many other articles that um, take you into the impact of astrology on all of our lives. And one thing I was going to say is uh, going back to the idea that astrology is a two-sided coin, and I think that's a very, been a very good theme. And I feel that we, the East and the West, well, if pe people say astronomy is the uh, father of science, but astrology is the mother of science, and we are children of the original astrology that evolved thousands of years ago and we are like sisters the two the east and the west and we must work together we have um, we have uh, many issues in the west with people using astrology and uh, people in powerful positions but they're not able to tell people about it because it's a taboo and uh, we want it to stop being a taboo for, in certain quarters. And so we look at uh, what, what's happening in the media, and we, ca we try to counter the image that's sometimes portrayed. And there are people who are very skeptical of astrology, and they say they're scientists, but when you, have a, when you actually deal with them, they're not scientists. And they're not real scientists, because a scientist is an open-minded person who will explore the evidence before judging any subject. But these people judge a subject. So we, we are dealing with those who are organized groups uh, in America and in Britain in particular. And uh, they, they try to control the media, such as the BBC, and we deal with that um, 
uh, you know, through uh, letters and emails. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say. But this is the book, any, and uh, it's Astrology Considered, and it's a series of articles, and you can get it um, on Amazon. Thank you.